think this would be appropriate, I suppose. Let me move this over just a little bit. Uh. for me. Uh, what people don't, well, let me just say what happened. When I got here, when I found out about this space, uh, uh, I did a poem uh, that the Punsalva style that I talked about. And the first one I did was a thing called Heal a Hebrew. And it was about the Gaza situation. So it was just me doing what I do right now, right? Then, uh, a couple of weeks after that, I, I, I told Gotcha, I look, a hey, uh, Africa Day is coming, May 25th. And so then he helped me. Uh, we did a, uh, uh, yeah, uh, well, what happened was, African Day for me, I grew up in the, uh, what's called, I came of age in what's called the uh, Black Arts Movement of the uh, United States, the, you know, Black Power, Black Arts. Uh, and uh, that's when I started doing poetry and stuff like that. But uh, it was a funny thing because the people then, you would uh, say the phone was like two minutes. Well, they spend like 10 minutes explaining, you know, the <laughs> political situation. And it was quite funny, but that's how I grew up. Anyway, one of the, one of the people of that era was a guy named Henry Dumas, one of my favorite uh, writers, poets. Uh, he, he got, well, he got killed uh, in 68, but his work is, is amazing. Uh, so he's an inspiration to me. So he did a thing called Root Song. And so that's what we first hooked up on, where um, we did the uh, Tamil translation, and I did, that's what we did. And then after that, I said, oh, this is lovely. I like that. So the next thing I did was, uh, I said, we're in Oroville. Hey, this is, you know, mother started Oroville, so let me do a, a, a poem on, on the mother. So I did a poem, it's called, uh, The Mother Speaks Oroville. So we did that one, did the translation, and then I'm going like, Hey, I like this space, and it's like a lot of children here. I love children. We all love children. So I did a poem called "The Mighty One." It was put out from you know for children. Oh, say so that's that's good. Then uh, I did a poem about uh, uh, the, the, the original Indian well, the Indian name. Uh, I'm going to mess it up. Barat, right? Barat. Barat. So, so Barat, so we did that name of is a comeback of Barat, is a concept of, of autochthony. Now, I love this word, autochthony, because autochthony is a geological term. It, mean, it means, well, basically, if we pick up that stone and we trace it back, we know it came from here. It didn't come from China, or it didn't come from South America, it came from here. Any gems like that, so that's what it is. Then, I went and said, oh, the poem that we did earlier called Baying at the Moon. And that was about, again, uh, nature and stuff like that. But to, uh, I wasn't going to do this poem. I just finished it this week, and I wasn't going to present it. But I realized I started with the Gaza situation, and I'm going back, and I'm really, uh, I won't say it, I'm, I'm, I'm like a, a, I'm a political, I'm a cultural, I'm a cultural revolutionary, let's put it that way. Not a, not a well, I'm a cultural revolutionary. So, uh, but my name, uh, the, the Anglo, how do you say, the Anglo translation of my name, Anthony Sloan. Anthony, uh, the, the, it means like incomparable, no comparison. And Sloan, the Anglo root, is warrior. So I am the incomparable warrior. Thank you very much. Uh, so I'm going to do the poem, then I'm going to explain it because it's, it's important. This is called Warriors We Be, an autochthony Kutsava. Red clouds stood us down these decades. Biding us in fierce warrior now time. For this every to all combat phase. Freedom is our Aluta mantra heard today. Towards this goal is what we pray. A prayer to lead us this way. Mind troop weapons for their force decay. Okay. Now, what I love about poetry when you recite it, it's one thing. When, when you read it, it's another thing, mm. okay? So, Warriors We Be, that's, that's, Warriors We Be is important because uh, it's like black English, that we use the word, you know, we, 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 we sort of change the English around. Autochthony is, what, or, autochthony is one of my favorite words, like I said. Uh, so now it says, starts out, red cloud stood us down these decades. Red cloud was an American Indian, 
uh, uh, from the, um, uh, the Lakota Nation, and he was the only American Indian to defeat the U.S. Army. But he was a, he was also a, 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 a statesman, you know, a diplomat, and he went to Washington D.C. He saw what was going on, so he went back to his nation. He said, "Look, don't fight him, don't do anything, chill." Well, he said, "Chill." I'm just throwing that in there. Uh, out, the time will come. So Red Cloud, that's what he said. Those uh, in the 18 whatever, age, 18 yeah, eight, whatever, 18 whatever it was, biting us in fierce warrior now time. So. He basically told him, wait, there'll come a time. So this is, I'm saying, fighting us in fierce warrior time. Now we're in, well, fierce warrior time. For this every to all combat phase. Now we're in this warrior time, I'm insisting. We're in combat, we've, we've been in combat phase, but now we're in combat phase for real. Freedom is our Aluta mantra heard today. Now Aluta Continua is a Portuguese derived term that means uh, the struggle condition continues, basically. All right. Towards this goal of what we pray. Pray here is spelled P-R-E-Y. What we pray, what we go, what we what, what we we, what we combat, what we're gonna what we're gonna do, what we're gonna fight. A prayer, now this is the prayer of praying, uh, to lead us this way, the way that the way that uh, Red Cloud said we should lead. Mind troop weapons, mind troop weapons. So this fight. It's not going to be the, you know, the, you know, the, 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 the bang bang, you know, uh, uh, cluster bomb. That's not the weapon we're going to use. Mind troop weapons for their forces. Okay, so the way you, we're going to win this battle, when I say we, I'm talking about the people against the forces that want us gone. The uh, way we win this battle is not going to be the way they have developed. It's the way we have to develop. It's a spiritual battle, but more important, it's a mental battle. That's what we have to do. That's why I insist. That's what the incomparable warrior is saying. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anjanik, for a beautiful uh, narration. At the same time, you are, all your poem works you have uh, uh, inspiredly told. Thank you so much for your presentation.